When it comes to designing a home, I want the space to look designer without having to buy designer products because let's face it, they can get super expensive. But finding inexpensive products that also hold up in terms of quality can be super duper difficult. So in today's video, we're chatting about some Amazon home products under $100 that look designer and they're designer in terms of quality. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know that every single day I post rooms from Amazon that help you achieve the designer look for less across all of the different design styles. So I I know the very best designer lookalikes, if one can call them that. So the first product I wanna talk about is this piece of art. So this brand of art on Amazon actually does a phenomenal job at giving you some art pieces on canvas. Finding art on canvas can be very expensive, especially when you buy it um, from a place like Home Goods, but even more so when you buy it from designer websites. You're getting something just printed for upwards of $1,000, whereas here on Amazon, you can get something printed on canvas because it's all printed the same way, for under $100. They have pieces that are black and white, so you can get a nice black and white gallery wall if you'd like to. They also have pieces that are reminiscent of Kadir Boli, which is the artist that created the prints behind me, as well as paintings similar to that of Megan Morrison. So all of the different artists that are really, really, really taking the main stage right now, they have art reminiscent to that by this brand on Amazon. Not only can you get art depending upon whatever design style you have, because they really do have something that works for every single design style, but they do have different frames for that art black frames, um, wooden frames, white frames. So depending upon your style, you can match a frame to your style. Now I will say that these are prints, so they are not textured, but you're still getting a piece of art that is frame and stretch, which is something that can cost you upwards of $250 baseline at any other store. Now, one of the best ways to upgrade that gallery wall or that art wall that you are going to create with those paintings is with a picture light. This one from Amazon is 23 inches and only $50. This picture light is an LED picture light. It is USB operated. So you use a USB plug to charge it and it is magnetic. So the light bar does come down, the bracket stamp on the wall and the light bar does come down. It gives off three different types of light. You have a very cool white light, very high Kelvin. Then you have a combination light and then you have yellow light. So depending upon the vibe that you enjoy, you can achieve that with this light. This works just like all other picture lights, but I do appreciate that it is so large because I've not been able to find a 23 inch picture light for under $250 and I don't know how long. And that includes both battery operated and hard wired options. The only downside of this picture light is that the light is not as diffused as one might like. Um, it doesn't have that level of sophistication there, but for $50, you really cannot beat the price. And the way that I kind of actually mitigated that as I just angled it so that the picture light faces the artwork more instead of facing down so that you cannot actually see the individual light bulbs. I like to be transparent about what I like and don't like about products because products aren't perfect. So those are the pros and cons of that one. Now, if you want a picture light that diffuses light beautifully, I have one from Amazon for you as well, but this one is not quite as large. This picture light is 15.7 inches and it's actually called a wall sconce. It's meant to go uh, above your vanity. So above the mirror in your bathroom, but you can use this absolutely anywhere. This actually has a switch on it and comes with a remote. It does super white light, it does yellow light, and it does an in-between. All of these picture lights these days do the same thing. And again, this is USB operated. This has an amazing, amazing diffuser on it. You cannot see the light bulbs at all. This is a creme de la creme of picture lights from Amazon, but it is always, always, always going out of stock. So it's not one that I talk about very often. I absolutely love this. I use this in a client install and it looks super high end and it is not plastic based, it is metal mace. There is not one piece of plastic that you can feel on that. So you're getting a really, really high end look and feel with this picture light, which I do appreciate with the price tag. This picture light is $40. So it isn't wildly expensive for a picture light, but like I said, it's always going out of stock. So if you're in the market for one, I'm telling you buy it right now because it's not gonna be here for long. The very last wall lighting item that looks designer without designer price tag to me is this coupon hollow wall sconce and it retails for $20 on Amazon. Now I will say it doesn't necessarily look designer in its, um, shape or anything like that because it's very basic, but it is designer in terms of the quality of light that it gives off. Just as that prior wall light, the light is diffused beautifully and it gives off yellow light, white light, and a combination light. And not only does it give off the different lights, but it gives off the lights in different uh, degrees of brightness. So you can make it really bright or really dim depending upon your mood. It is a peel and stick option and it is on a swivel. So you can angle the light down to the side, left and right. You can angle it in any direction. The best way to get the luxury look for 
this with this is to actually angle it down at your artwork so it's directing your sight line to the artwork so that you're looking at the artwork and less so at the floor and it creates a more moody effect instead of just totally illuminating a hallway this is something that they do in luxury art galleries all the time and this is a way that you can get the designer look at home the way you angle your lights actually has a lot of power and how someone perceives your space now designer home finds doesn't just have to do with contemporary design because even though i love the design style amazon has products for every single design style so if you're into the modern organic or warm minimalism this lighting option is for you this is a mushroom table lamp and i've talked about this lamp for years and years and years this is something that looks like an option they have at ikea but they also have mushroom lamps like this that go for upwards of 500 dollars. these are very trendy they're very in and the actual um hand blown ones are really 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 pricey i like this mushroom lamp because it's nice and compact so you can put it on a console table on a bookshelf you can even put it on your kitchen countertop it is a great way to introduce a little bit of lighting in a place that is otherwise dim or otherwise filled with very cool lighting it comes with a light bulb and it gives off very very warm light so it's a very inviting item um, that you want to introduce in a place like a kitchen that only has cool light so you get that sense of balance this lamp is also good for nightstands or little console tables that you don't want to be too cluttered but you do want to have a little bit of light um, when you're trying to get the designer look you do want to layer lighting and so this is a great way to layer lighting um, it your lamp doesn't always have to be the star of the show it doesn't have to be something big the light it gives off comes first and then the light itself can kind of add to the vignette so this is something i might pair with a vase and some coffee table books and it would look magnificent and we are almost done with lighting but again i think lighting is one of the most expensive things when it comes to crafting a designer space but it's also one of the things that has the most amount of power to transform the space so of course we're going to talk about the obright task lamp these task lamps come in gold black and silver they're all different in price and the prices range from $65 to $75. I like them because they help you to segment an open space. A lot of the times people are trying to create a hallway behind their sofa or they're trying to divide their living room from their dining room and they're buying big bookcases and they're buying room dividers and that truly isn't necessary. You can divide a room with something as simple as a plan but I love doing it with lighting because you can never have enough lighting in a space. It not only visually breaks up the space but it gives you lighting to look at your phone, to read a book, to do a puzzle or do whatever it is you like to do in the respective areas. Um, I also like that it adds a metal to the space and a lot of the time we want to add a metal um, to make the space look more sophisticated and to kind of contrast with the upholstery that we have filling a room or the marble that we have filling the room which is why I love these. I have the gold versions but again you really can't go wrong with any of them and it gives off a truly glaring amount of light. You can see mine right behind me right now. It does a magnificent job and it's something that I will recommend time and time and time again and it truly can work with every design style. If you're into more modern and contemporary interiors, you can put two on either side of your sofa or behind your chairs. Whereas if you're into something a little bit more relaxed, you can just put one in a corner to help illuminate the space. Symmetry is kind of what gives you that modern designer look, but there are other ways to look designer without doing typical symmetry. The next Amazon designer find under $100 is this marble CN table. So I very rarely recommend things that have a marble effect because I'm, uh, I'm of the belief go big or go home but I really really enjoy this C table so this is a C table which means that it can fit underneath your sofa or underneath your chair so it can come over in front of you you can use your laptop on it or you can eat on it and then you can also let it vibe on the side of your sofa if you want to this is a very versatile piece if you like to eat and play and drink in your living room but you also want side tables to put lamps on and decor and so on and so forth this has a marble effect that just looks extremely realistic to me. I was blown away. And with a $65 price tag, you really cannot beat it. I bought it for a client project and I was just astounded because I've seen these CN tables for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This one is under $100 and it is very robust. It doesn't wobble and it is a very, very, very decent size. Another designer item that gets really, really expensive is the curtain. You can buy a curtain panel for $500 a piece and that just blows my mind. They can be so expensive but they don't have to be. I actually found these velvet curtains from Amazon and you get two panels for $47 for the eight foot version and of course they have so many different versions depending upon the height of your ceiling and the height of your 
windows. So I got them in the wild rose because this client likes pink and we wanted to add pink, but they were beautiful velvet. They only almost have like a crushed velvet effect to them because they really do look different depending upon the light. Um, and they do have tie backs on them. So you can tie the curtains to the side if you want to for a more romantic and traditional look. I love these curtains because they're very thick. They do a wonderful job at filtering light and they are very, very heavy. They don't feel super thin. You're not like, oh, they use velvet on one side and polyester on the other. They're extremely, extremely thick. You can hang them a myriad of ways, but I like to use the clips, which I will talk about shortly, but you can really achieve any design style with these curtains and they come in pretty much every color of the rainbow. So no matter what your style is, you can achieve it using these curtains from Amazon. Now, speaking of these curtains, I wanted to pair them with a high-end curtain rod and curtain rods can also get very expensive. And I normally go for the Ikea curtain rod, but if you don't want black or white, this one is amazing. So this one is a warm gold. For the version that stretches between 48 inches and 86 inches, it was only $32, which is super affordable for a curtain rod. It is a wonderful, wonderful warm gold. It doesn't look gaudy at all. It isn't too shiny. I would probably say it's more of a brushed warm gold. Um, and it reflects a light really, really well. It looks high end. It adds some warmth to the space and it's not too shiny. So often you see brass or gold curtain rods and they're way, they're way too polished. They're so polished that they look cheap and it looks like the, the polishing is going to rub off. That is not the case with these at all. And they have a lot of heft to them. So they are fairly heavy. They have some weight to them. So they're going to give you that high end look. Now to go along with this curtain rod, of course, I got the associated curtain clips because I believe that curtain clips are the way to make curtains look the most sophisticated. You get a set of 14 curtain clips for $8. And I got four packs of these to put up my four curtain panels because I wanted to use as many clips as possible because as I said, those curtains have weight. I love these clips, they're high end. They really do perfectly match the curtain rod. And I know that should go without saying because they're by the same company, but so often someone will have a warm gold and the warm gold will look different among their own products which I think is absolutely ridiculous but these look sophisticated they almost have a hammered look to them which I really 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 enjoy I love when the simple items like a curtain clip have details that is what separates the designer look from a cheaper look if you're new here, I'm actually doing a bathroom makeover and I want my primary bathroom to look like the utmost luxury hotel. I want it to look so luxurious and one of the upgrades I decided to make was actually to get a linear drain. So this drain is only $40 um, in the 12 inch and you can do all the different sizes of the drain. And what you do with this drain, it is actually one of like the hidden drains. So you put the drain in and they're just lines on either side of the tile. It gives you a template, you put the tile in, you cut the tile to fit in the drain. And so it's just a hole in the floor as opposed to the very typical drain. This way you can have that seamless look on the floor that's tile, 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 tile. Now, if you're not doing a bathroom makeover, this is not helpful, but if you wanna get that designer look at home really affordably, you have to pick up this drain for your bathroom reno. This way you're going to get that continuous look on your floor. It's going to look like, oh my God, where's the drain? Where's the drain? How's the water leaving here? I love that effect. This way you get to appreciate your tile to the fullest extent instead of looking at an ugly drain and trying to find a drain that matches your shower fixtures because that can be a pain. And when you get those metals mixed up, it can look so tacky. So I was really, really happy to find this drain solution. Now I wanna talk bedding items and textiles because Amazon has a lot of designer finds for less. The first item I wanna talk about is this faux fur blanket. So this faux fur blanket comes in so many different colors. I have the white version with like the black detailing and I love it. The only downside of it is my dog likes to eat it. I don't know what's wrong with him, but something about this blanket really gets him going, but it looks so high end. I have bought a genuine faux fur blanket before. I don't buy them anymore, but I have bought one before and this one is high, of higher quality. It has a velvet backing so that you get a really nice insulated feel when you're laying down with this. You don't actually have to touch the faux fur, but the faux fur does look super high end and there's very, very limited shedding with this. This is something that you throw on the base of your bed after you've made it to get a really, really nice elevation it look. It'll also keep your feet warm. So it really is a twofer. It comes in so many different colors. So whatever color you want to use is a good color. What I like to do with this also is to have it on year round, you know, to add some texture, to add some visual interest to my upholstery. But when it comes to holiday time, I actually like to use it as a tree skirt. I know that that's kind of a funky idea, but I like to use it as a tree skirt because I love faux fur at Christmas because fur makes sense for Christmas because we want warm and fuzzy things. So it actually doubles as a tree skirt. So you really can use this product year round, especially after you probably put away for the 
summertime. Next, we have this linen fringe pillow cover, which is $19 for an 18 by 18 pillow cover. This pillow cover looks like something right out of CB2 where it's around $54. Of course, that does come with the cushion, but still the cushion cover is still a pretty penny. And at Target, it's about $40 with the cushion cover, but the cushion cover is subpar. So again, um, it actually still does end up being more affordable from Amazon when you buy Amazon inserts. And I will link my favorite inserts down below. All of that to say, this gives you the really nice rustic look. So if you're into the modern organic, the warm minimalism, um, the Athena Calderon style, the modern organic, which I may have already said, you can get the nice rustic linen look with this pillow cover because of the fringe. It comes in so many different colors. I'm partial to the brown and the olive green, but you can do any color with this. Um, and it looks just like the Studio McGee pillows is what I will say. But again, you have control of the pillow cover that you put in this. So I'd put a down pillow in there because you'll get the relaxed look, not only with the linen, but also with the down, which will really bring your modern organic design dreams to life. And for those of you who love barefoot dreams, I have something that's very similar for you. This is this leopard print blanket that is only $38 as opposed to upwards one of $100 for a barefoot dream blanket. This blanket feels identical. I know because I have both. Well, my sister-in-law has one. I borrowed one from her to do a comparison and they feel identical. And honestly, I might like this one more. It is a leopard print style, which is very, very common. They do have other prints. Um, elsewhere if you do not like this print, but I honestly, you cannot beat the $38 price tag and it is so warm. It is so insulating and it has a great stretch in it. And when it stretches, you can't see the rayon or anything like that. So it is not something that looks very plasticky, even though it is very comfortable. It feels just like barefoot dreams. So if you've never actually felt that the next time you go to Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack, give it a feel. And then you're going to be like, oh wow, I really, 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 really need this blanket. Plus it's super compact. You can fold it up and put it in a basket um, or even hide it within your couch cushions. It really really is that compact, which I do appreciate because I hate when there are throw blankets absolutely everywhere. So this is a great designer find. Those were some designer finds under $100 from Amazon. Getting the designer look doesn't have to be expensive and you don't have to buy designer products. It's all about knowing where to look and how to look. And I'm always here to be your resource. Be sure to let me know down below what other designer finds you want me to find from Amazon. I'm always here to help. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.